Hello, welcome to your introduction to using Pivot Animator. The first thing I'm going to show you is an overview of the help guide. This guide is a link in your Google Classroom class. So if you ever need a reference point, you can go to the link Pivot Animator directions in your Google Classroom class. How you use this is over on the left hand side is the menu that basically tells you all the different things that you can do with Pivot. So if you're not sure how to do something, you can come in and find what you need by simply clicking on the item on the left hand side and the main window will give you directions. Now yes, these are written directions and there are also videos available, but these are helpful as well because in the written directions they are going to show you and talk about some shortcuts that I may not include in the videos. So if you're a person who likes to use keystrokes instead of menus, you might want to check these out. Also, there is a way to translate this. We will make sure Google Translate is installed on the computers and you can translate it into different languages. So that is the basic of how to use the how-to guide. Briefly, we're going to look at the interface. The interface, and just so you know, there's going to be a quiz on some of these terms. The interface is basically the term for what you're using to make the program work. Unfortunately, it doesn't open all in one window. But here you have it as a glance, at a glance, what it looks like. You have the frame controls. Each one of these squares is a frame. If you want to do something in a specific frame, you can click on the frame. Frames, as you create them, appear in this, what is called the timeline. Each object is called a figure. You can use stick figures. You will also learn how to import other figures and create your figures. This is called player controls, which helps you play, stop, loop, and change the speed. Background is where you can select the background. If you want to add a figure, you can click on add a figure. These controls here are called the figure controls. The figure controls allow you to do different things to your figure. For example, change the color, draw on it, duplicate it, we'll learn more. And when you want to add a frame, because your animation is made up of multiple frames, you can click right here to add a frame. That is the basics. When we're talking about a figure, you have a segment handle, which is a place where you can click and move. You have an origin handle, which is right in the center. And onion skins show you where your figure has been. If you look up here, notice the arm moves up. And here are the onion skins representing the different frames. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And they don't have the next one because we are on this frame. So this basically kind of shows you where you were at. And that is the basic interface at a glance.